All right, everyone, welcome back. Looking at Jasmine, so we can go ahead and take away our flag here. We're just going to kind of readjust. Uh, the last time we were looking, we were looking at this potential bull flag here. We were right here on this candle. And I was mentioning that if you end up losing this 534 area, which we did, um, then this is no longer going to be in play pretty much. And we're coming down this 15% uh, or so to the 618 at 46. So we did come down here. We wicked below it a little bit. So what we're going to do now on Jasmine, let me just go ahead and let's just take everything off of here really quick. Let's look at a fib from the low to the high here to see where Jasmine's potentially headed to. So once we lost that 382, as you can see there, we're sitting right on the 0.5 right now. So 0047, we're at 49, is your price to hold. Once we lose 004 seven nine here your next stop is your six one eight so this is potentially where jasmine's head in a six one eight retracement so just keep that in mind um so you're looking at a potential uh 14 percent drop down here to four two if we end up losing that the next stop of course is the seven eight six retracement down here for about a 29 percent move to zero zero three four which you know if you're like me i'm just looking at the dca potential prices to get in and add a little bit more every every drop it takes on on Jasmine here. So if you end up losing four seven, watch four two and then zero zero three four down here uh, for potential buy-in targets. Of course, um, the MACD is still curled down. The last time we were looking at it, it was it looked like it wanted to curl up and bounce at that support that we had. But of course, we mentioned the price to hold did not hold. So we're looking at potential downside moves now. So. As of now, it just it looks like it's going down. BTC's kind of taking a dip, so everything's taking a dip. So we're printing deep red on the Heikinashi candle. So at the moment, Jasmine has a downtrend in play, and it has momentum to the downside in play. And we have a bearish cross here on the EMAs, the 50 going back, or the 21 going back below the 50, that is. So uh, as of now, it looks like Jasmine's more likely than not coming down to your 618 at 0042. So just be prepared for that. Uh, to get hit if you end up bouncing of course at four seven we need to get back over the three eight two at zero zero five four which i do not think that is the case right now it looks like it wants to go down to that six one eight so if you do end up bouncing and coming back up you're looking at about a eleven and a half percent move to five four five four would be your big price to beat and remember you do have your emas bearish uh, and a bearish cross here and they're moving down so you got a lot of resistance uh, to the upside if it does in fact bounce but like I said it doesn't look great at the moment so I'm looking at the 618 to 42 and then down here potentially 34 and then hopefully in my case the way I want it to go I want it to go way lower so I can uh, load up before that potential next bull run at some point so yeah just watch all those uh, prices on Jasmine with that said not financial advice thanks for watching everyone peace out